it's that time again where we look at Pasco made easy with Senana. And in this video, we want to consider core mathematics. So basically, we want to look at how we can solve a question on sets. And these are questions that are in past questions, especially for WASI. But it is good for everyone that wants to practice questions on sets. Remember to share this video, like this video, subscribe and click on the notification channel so that you can get all my videos on time. Now let's look at the question. So this question says that B and C are subsets of the universal set mu, right? Uh, where B and C are not disjoint. So let's take notice of the not disjoint and not subsets of each other. All right, now we have to draw a Venn diagram to illustrate the mu B and C. And then we have to shade the set B prime union C. Right, our B prime represents the complement of B. And then we have to use set notation to describe the unshaded region. So now let's look at how we can solve this question. So basically for this question, we are giving our mu, right, so our mu the mu part of our question is given as the universal set. And then we are also giving B and C as our subsets. Now remember that there are some conditions that have been given in the question that we can use to be able to draw the Venn diagram. And one of those conditions is that they are saying that the mu or the mu in particular is not disjoint it means that one can interlap each other or one can be inside the other right when one is inside the other then we say that one is a subset or a full subset of the other right so they also give a condition that one is not a subset of the other so it means that they overlap each other so we can have our b circle here right our b and then we can have our c circle here right our c and they intersect each other right so we have been able to draw a venn diagram for our b and then our mu and our c right so within that same venn diagram we are asked to see the set B complement union C. So when we talk about a complement of a set, we are looking at the members that are in the union set but not in that set in particular. So if we want to consider the members in the union set that are not in that set, then it means that we are considering this portion and the outside portions, right? But then it is union with a C. So it means this side will also be part. So you can begin from here, right? So we are from here, then we have all this side. So all these sides are the B complements, right? So it's outside the B, but this is part of the C. So we can see that as well. And then we shade all the outside here as well, because it's also part of the universal sets, but then it's not in B, right? So it's part of the B complement. So we shade all the outside parts here. So yes, yeah, sometimes you can be giving questions where you are asked to describe things or shade some regions. It's not always that you are solving questions that require you to produce numbers, right? So this is one example of such question. So we shade it, right? And then we are done with the I, I parts, right? So that is I, I parts. Now in the I, 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 we are asked to use notation, right? So notation is where we are able to describe something in terms of the variable form to describe the unshaded portion. So when we look at the unshaded portion, right? When we look at the unshaded portion, we are considering the portion where we have, right? The, the only, right? The B only. So how do we consider the B only? So we can say that uh, this can be uh, B right uh intercession as uh, c complement 
right so we know of c complements when we consider c complements we are looking at all the members that are in the universal set but not in c so they would consist of this portion which is a portion that is not shaded that is not shaded right and then the outside portion here and then when we we intersect it with the b or we find a common with the b we realize that we'll be having this portion alone right the unshaded portion alone so it means that uh, i i will i i i right will be b intersection c complement so this is a set notation so basically in this question we have looked at a question where you are asked to describe things and draw things based on a description remember that you like this video share this video and subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos